Hello beautiful, welcome back to Nat's Beautiful Life. It's been a hot minute since I've done a video. I have been trying, um, but yeah, I can only film when I can film living in this situation, so moving on. Um, I have missed you guys, and I'm so sorry that something hasn't been up. I even missed my beauty vlog on Monday, which I haven't done in two years, like ever. So I'm just trying so hard to get my stuff together. Um, but it's just been difficult, but I'm sure you guys know about that too. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing my June favorites, and, um, May seemed to drag and take forever to get through. June, I just feel like I blinked and it was gone. Um, it wasn't a bad month, it was just a very fast month, and July so far is is doing well. Um, <clears throat> I did get to go home for July 4th and um, I'll say some of my friends that um, had moved elsewhere just so happened to be in Jacksonville as well so that was pretty cool so I was able to meet up with them. But um, moving on, <laughs> let's talk some favorites. I have some favorites here, not a whole lot of new things to show you really but some stuff. And then I also wanted to do some of the new things I bought just to kind of show you a little mini haul and let you know some things that are going on and just some other random favorites. So I'm going to shut up talking about all this garbage and moving on. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about, you probably know this is coming, the CoverGirl Super Cyber Super Sizer. Uh, mascara has been hands down probably one of my favorite favorites this month. Um, I did, this is the regular one, and I don't have to curl my lashes with this because I don't know if you've seen the brush on these. Um, they are really weird, but they are um, functional, so they actually do something. They lift and separate your lashes, and so I haven't had to curl my lashes or anything. I just pop this on, and I will layer this. Sometimes I'll use this first and then like another um, like volumizing mascara with it just for some extra pizzazz but it totally looks like I have false lashes on but I love this. I did get the um, what is this one called the waterproof hydrofuge one just to see if it um, acted the same way. The regular is my favorite. This one I don't think is exactly the same but it's a good mascara. Like I think this one's better, but I still think this one's really good. So you can just take that however you want. But if you prefer a, a waterproof mascara, then this one's good. And I didn't have any issues with it. Um, and the only reason why I got this one is because sometimes when I go hiking or something, um, or I'm just like going for a walk with a dog and I'm really hot and sweaty, um, my eyes will water and I'll notice sometimes like the corner of my eyes, my mascara will start to run. Uh, so that's why I got the waterproof one, but it works well and uh, I like it, but yeah, so that's my favorite. Um, next favorite is something you've seen definitely in my hauls and that are some of the Milani matte lipsticks. I have uh, right here matte, this one's matte naked, and then matte innocence. Once more, I don't know if you hear the dog in the background. Once more, like this is matte naked, and this is matte, matte innocence, and um, once more mauvey, and once more of a true kind of a nude, but it isn't like wash your lips out nude. Um, so I've been loving these. They don't really dry out your lips, um, but I do always put a gloss on top because that's just how I roll. But these are really, really awesome, and I do recommend them. Um, and they're really inexpensive, and especially if you get those, buy one, get one half. Those are awesome. Um, another one, and I don't have it anything in anything, so it's just going to be like this. Um, the Ripe Watermelon Blush Duo from Mary Kay. It is the blush and highlight. Yeah, the blush, when you swatch it, looks kind of chalky, but when you actually get it with a brush and put it on your cheeks, um, it's fine. But I love this. You can use this as your blush, this as your highlight, or this as your blush, and then put this on top for more of a kind of luminous blush. And um, either way is really great with this. And what I really, really, really love about it 
is the lasting power. These things do not come off. You have your blush on all day, hands down, that thing sticks on, and awesome. Yeah, I highly recommend those. They're really, really inexpensive, and um, I think they're like 18 bucks, maybe. I don't know, um, but they're really awesome, so I like those. Um, also, something that I have been using, you guys know I love my Mary Lou Manizer. <laughs> Mary Lou Manizer from The Bomb. This month, Betty Lou has been stealing the show. And she is a highlight, but she's more of a bronzy highlight, I guess. If you can, yeah, see, she's really bronzy. Um, so what I've been doing is using a contour bronzer just really quickly under the or you know under the cheekbones and then just taking Betty Lou on a fluffy brush and going on as a bronzer and even um, on days when I'm just like not into doing much of anything I will um, use her as a blush and bring it up so it kind of acts as a highlight um, I've even been really lazy once and just kind of used it as as bronzer, blush, and highlight all together. Yes. And I really, really love this product. And this is another one. It lasts all day until you take your makeup off. Betty Lou and Mary Lou are going to stay with you. Mm hmm. Boot on. <laughs> um, I'm seeing moving on a lot. Maybe it's because I want to move. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I was really loving in June, especially the very beginning of June, is this the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Um, this is not like a makeup that you put on with like a beauty blender, sponge, or brush. You really do need to use your fingers because it is so, can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's so liquidy and um, if you put it on with anything else, it just spreads it out and it just, it doesn't look right. So um, what I do is I actually keep this in my um like face wash, moisturizer type bucket in the, in the, um, what are those things called? The bathroom. It's that way. That's why I'm pointing. Yeah. Um, anywho, I put it, um, in that box. That way, if I decide that I don't really want to make up that day, but I am going to like step out and I want some protection on my face because it does have SPF 18 and also it keeps you from looking, you know, like you didn't do anything with yourself. Um, then I use this. Plus, my face is naturally darker than the rest of my neck and stuff. It's just the way it is. I have just freckles and things. So it just looks darker. And this, if I just kind of bring it down, like face and down, it kind of just kind of blends it all together so it doesn't look really weird. So I've really been loving this. This is really great. And if you're someone who doesn't really want to wear makeup, but you do want to have something to protect your face, maybe control oil a little bit. I think this helped. Um, but yeah, go for it. Highly recommend it. I don't know how much it normally is. I got it on clearance for like four bucks. So that's why I bought it. Mine is in the color sand beige. And yeah, like I said, this has really been something I grabbed a lot, um, especially the first half of June. Um, another skincare kind of thing that I was loving is this mask. I had some serious breakouts because it was just so nasty, hot, gross. And so this really helped me out a lot. It is the Avon Clear Skin Pore Penetrating Black Mineral Mask. And it literally is black. Do you see? Do you see? It's totally black. Um, but you put it on your face. Totally black. And it dries a gray, and then it just, anything that's under the skin, it just soaks it right out. And I think this is kind of like a really, really inexpensive dupe for the Glam Glow Mask, which is in like, it's like 60 bucks, 65 bucks, something like that. This you can get for less than 10 And yeah, I'm like all about this. This is awesome. And also you can spot treat it. So like well, on days where I didn't put all over my face, maybe I put some on my chin or just like different areas and it helped just suck it out. So this is really awesome. Um, nail polishes. I was really into blues this month. Really into blues. Um, this one was one of my favorites. This is Dreamer by Revlon. I love these Revlon nail polishes. They're like maybe less than four bucks and they stay on so well and they don't get too thick and I just really really like them. Um, and yeah, I've got several of them and some that I like actually gone through.
but this one is really nice. It's a nice new blue one, great for spring and summer. Um, and then I also get this one. Um, the dark blue one I've worn on my toes a lot, and this is endless blue. It's like a true, true blue. Um, the true blue I used to wear is um, one of the old Revlon color blast something. What are they called? Color stay. I'm looking at my rack up here. Um, but they don't make that line anymore. They replaced the with, with the gel envy and they don't have the same blue. So I found this one. This one's simple colors. And it works great and I'm loving it. These things last forever. These are $1.99. And then you could find them on sale sometimes like Walgreens or something for 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this is a funny story. This one is called Why Not? And I have been looking at this color for months and I just like never picked it up. And finally, I was just like, why not? It's $1.99. This is a gorgeous color. Um, yeah, totally, totally get this one. It is like a blue teal, hitting paper, blue teal looking, th I don't know. See, this is blue and this is this one. And yeah, it's really cool. It's just really cool. I really like it. So these have been my faves. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you some non-beauty things, and then we're going to go back into some, like, kind of a mini haul of beauty things. So one thing that I have been loving, when I went to Jacksonville a couple weeks ago, I had downloaded an audiobook. And I realized when we went to the beach that I did not bring my headphones. So I ran to Target real quick and got these really cheap headphones. I can't remember if they were $7.99 or $9.99, but they were these. They're the skull candy or skull something. They have little skulls on them. But you know what I'm talking about. You see them everywhere. I think it's skull candy. Um, and they're just like the really inexpensive ones. And I decided to just kind of keep them in my purse. Like just, you know, in the back, just in case I need them. And I use these things more than any other pair of headphones that I own right now because I'm like out and about and I'm like waiting for something and I'm just like, oh, I'll just watch some YouTube or something and I'll pop these out of my purse. And so these are some of the most comfortable headphones. Like I put them in my ears. They don't hurt at all. And I just really love them. So really cheap Skull Candy headphones and they're pink. So yeah, those television show. Favorite television show has been The Last Ship. I binged on the whole first season on Hulu and then the new season has started and I have binged on it. I love that show so much it ain't even funny. And um, yeah, so I highly recommend it. It's basically um, about these this Navy ship and the people on it and um, they do, they do come to land, but what's happening is back on land, this uh, outbreak of this like intense flu-like thing is has come and is like killing people, and they have the cure on their ship, and it's just really cool. It's really cool. You gotta check it out. Um, the other cool thing, and I will probably insert a picture of it so you can actually see it. This bag, okay, it's kind of a cheat. I got this in. Uh, on July 4th, actually, at one of the little stores by in Swansboro, but I'll insert a picture of it so you can actually see it. It is made out of 300 grocery bags. It looks like a straw bag, and it's just so cool, though. I mean, I think it's really cool that it's made out of grocery bags, but um, another cool thing about it is um, the proceeds for that particular bag go towards the backpack program which help provide food for children who don't have like school lunches and things like that so um, I think that was a really great cause and I really think the bag is cool and I have found a way to use it every day since I've had it um, it's really cool because it's really comfortable to hold and you know sometimes with straw bags you feel like you're getting like poked and stuff and prodded whenever you're picking things out and with that I, it's just so comfortable and so soft and I love it. So yeah, I'll put the information of the store I got it from in the description bar, um, but it's in Swansboro, North Carolina, um, and it's if you're in that area, it's not where, where the little downtown pier area is, it's across where the park is and the little like Italian restaurant and then there's like this consignment shop. Um, 
I'll put the name of the consignment shop, you know, here-ish. And, um, yeah, so you can go check that out. She's got lots of cool stuff, but that was one of the things she had as well. Um, so to wrap this up, I'm going to show you just kind of a little mini haul of some things that I got. Um, the first one is a couple of weeks ago I got this little guy. This is the NYX Avant Pop Palette in Arthrob. And the pigmentation of these suckers, if I can show you. Let me just get myself together here. Um, just a few swatches. There on my hand. And just kind of one wrap there on my wrist. They're awesome. And I have been doing looks for them. So on my beauty blog, starting either the end of this week or next week, you will start to see some looks with this one and also the other two. I actually went on Ulta and I love this one so much. I got the other two because they had the 40% off sale. This is Nouveau Chic and Surreal My Heart and I'll just, I'll just let you see. This one is the Nouveau Chic and this one's great for anyone who's just wanting everyday colors and this one is people who like everyday colors with a pop of color. Um, this one is the Surreal My Heart and just they're so pigmented. They blend really, really well. I'm wearing every shadow on my eyes. Today is from this one, the Nouveau Chic one and this look will be on the beauty blog on this date right here. So um, yeah, so I've really been loving these and I highly recommend them. They were on sale for like $10 a piece. Now they have buy one, get one half. So go pick those up. Use your coupons because you can use your Ulta coupons um, with NYX. So, yes. Another thing is kind of old to everyone, but I wanted to try it. I noticed when I was doing a lot of my um, concealer and stuff that I was looking a little too done up. Like really, I don't want to say cakey, but just a really thick makeup and it was looking dull because even it just didn't look like it had enough of a glow and so I was using my Mary Kay facial highlighting pen which I love and I was doing that instead of concealer a couple of times and then I decided um, that that is that's expensive and plus I wanted something that was a little bit more of a concealer and that way I wouldn't have to mix concealer and that and just have like all these products on my face um, but the, the Mary Kay one, it only costs me, like, I get a big discount because I work with Mary Kay, but, um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just happen to work with them. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not cheap. And so, something for everyday use, I wanted, um, you know, to try something else. So, I was like, I've always been curious about this uh, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. I've always been curious about it. But I gotta say, my feelings are mixed. I am wearing it today. The first time I used it, I think it just soaked into my skin and I felt like it was dry or was setting really quickly. So then I've been like putting it on and then spraying my face before I set it. Spraying my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray with like the, the aloe herbs and rose water stuff. Um, and that kind of helped. And I think it does a pretty good job. But I'm still kind of like torn. I don't know. But another thing that kind of bothers me is I haven't had this very long. And it only has about this much left. And I think this is around seven to eight dollars, depending on where you get it. And I'm like, the Mary Kay one, even though it's a little bit pricier, like on the retail end, on my end, it's just a few dollars more. And if I get more than what I get with this, then I just kind of don't know. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. It's a highlighting concealer, and that's what I wanted. Um, I also was kind of thinking about the, you know, the one, you know, the one, the one that Maybelline has that has like the little puff thing on the end, whatever that is, maybe trying that one and seeing, I don't know, but I like having a highlight where it looks like a glow, not really, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? I don't want to be disco ball, but I don't want to be flat. I, it's summer. I want to look nice 
but I don't want to look cakey and I don't, you know what I mean? You just want that nice glowy, glow from within, fresh, healthy skin look. And I'm working with this. I, I kind of like it. I kind of don't know. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Oh, I do have one more thing. I'm just going to go down here and get it. Another favorite of mine, and it's also something I've had for a while, it's limited edition, it's gone, but I've always said there's a million dupes on the market. Because my face was looking a little dull, I had been taking this. This is pretty much the exact same thing as Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one in Opal, and that's what I, you know, I've been using this. What I do is I put my primer on, I just blend it out. I put my primer on, then I put this on. I'll put like that, that on and then move it so it gives me like this healthy sheen. And then I go from there with my makeup and stuff. That's what I've been doing. I didn't do it today because I forgot. But anywho, um, that's just kind of a thing that I've been doing. So, and, and it's a, a tip for you. So if you've been having issues with, you know, you like a full face of makeup, but you don't want to look you know, a little fallish, winterish, you want to look glowy for summer, then maybe try mixing something like that in with your, and L'Oreal has one, uh, Revlon has one, y you can find one, um, but just pick one of those things up that will, you know, mix you look like a disco ball, you think, um, mix it with your foundation or just put it on under your foundation, give it a shot and see if that helps you out. That is pretty much it <laughs> for this um, favorites video. I hope this video hasn't been confusing. Um, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and being here with me. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and don't miss a thing. Don't forget, on um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Nat's Beauty Blog, there's a new makeup look every week and er, um, all those three days. Not just every week, but every week on those three days, there's a new beauty look for you. <sighs> And NatashaMedina.com is the gateway to all things Natasha Medina. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you again for supporting me and being here with me during this time of transition in my life. You guys are awesome. So have a great day, gorgeous.